Glória a Deus. We greet you all with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite you to stand to read the word of God that is in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 10. We're going to read 10 and 15. Second Kings chapter 10, verse 10 and verse 15. The Lord of God says as follows. Know now that nothing shall fall to the earth of the word of the Lord, which the Lord spoke concerning the house of Ahab. For the Lord has done what he spoke by his servant Elijah. Verse 15. Now when he departed from there, he met Jehonadab the son of Rehab, Rechab, coming to meet him. And he greeted him and said to him, Is your heart right, as my heart is towards your heart? And Jehonadab answered, It is. Jehu said, If it is, give me your hand. So he gave him his hand, and he took him up to him into the chariot. Lord, your word was read, and we ask you that you can bless us. In the name of Jesus, amen. The church may be seated. Did you notice how, how happy I was when I came to the pulpit? This week recently was a, a week of blessing for myself personally and sometimes God has gifts that we don't understand when we see a, a son being used in a church it's a gift that nobody can compare so I rejoice because and our God is, is a God that the God that we just read in the Bible. It's a God that takes care of every and each one of us in all the moments. The idolatry was taking care of the people back then and the Lord called courageous men and women to do the word of God the word of the Holy Spirit, even though it was in the Old Testament, did not cease. Last Saturday, our brother brought the, a message about the importance of the light in the temple. Before the light goes dim, someone will go there and renew. So before things go uh, difficult. The Lord operated miracles. This is our God. And this is the work of the Holy Spirit. Not the institution, Maranatha, but the work, the project of the Holy Spirit that He is putting before us at our service so we can be inserted and in doing our role as the Lord has called us. And when we make this decision, when we made the decision to choose this work of the Holy Spirit, He takes care of us. And no word will be despised about the, the, the promises of the Lord. None of those will perish. Whatever the Lord has promised, He will fulfill. The Lord has promised health, He will give health. 
the Lord has promised doors of work, he will do it because he's the God, the owner of the golds. Nothing that the Lord promised through the prophets will be despised, <laughs> will be denied or void. And we have a benefit to be as a ship and as a prophet. We are the ship of the Lord, but we also are prophets of the Lord. The Lord is using us with the prophetic gifts of the Holy Spirit. And when this happens, the Lord provides everything so we walk with all security, all safety in His presence. Not as a costume, but because He is by our side. The Word of God says, and Jehu, one of the, the men that he, the Lord called, you can read the chapter later on, and Jehu was there to do the Word of God. And in everything that he was obedient, they didn't want anything because the Lord provided everything they need to conquer Ahab because Ahab was a man that was walking in his own desire and he didn't follow the instructions of God. He was following his heart and going after the goddess and goddesses. So Jeho was called to put everything in order according to the kingdom of God. So when things were put it in order, people now start to approach and try to be with him and walk with him because the ones that walk with the Lord is more than conqueror. So brethren, the Lord has called us to do the work in the work of the Holy Spirit. So if you do that, the Lord will move people to desire to be with you. Jehonadab. The idolatry it was raining there and is raining around the world. And there is people that are thirsty for the living word, transformed word, a word that quench our thirst and our souls and this this is, is th th those are the ones that wanted to be with us because we are uh, at our disposal so to do the work of the Holy Spirit is to be in the activities that the Lord has called us, the early dawn, doing the fasting, praying by noon, and talking about the salvation, and mentioning the things that God has done for us among the families amidst us, in the midst of us, and make that the, the thirsty soul finds the, the water and the solution. Jehonadab approached to Jeho and says, If it is, give me, uh, is your heart, is your heart right as my heart is toward your heart? It's a very easy question. It's not to be questioned. It's not a little bit or so-so. I'm going to think if my heart is with yours. No, there's no doubt. It's simple. It is or it is not. The Word of God says yes or no. Whatever is different is from malignant uh, procedures. So my heart is with your heart. So then Jeho says, give me your hand. It's not an appealing, but is your heart, 
like the God's heart? Is your heart like the heart of Jesus? And God says, I found David, man according to my heart. When God mentioned David, talks about the servant. And is our heart like a God's heart, like He is with us? Are we being faithful to Him as He's being faithful to us in all the moments? Because if it is, this is what the Lord has called us especially for. Give me a hand. The hand talks about the, our instrumentality, our work of the Holy Spirit to participate in the meetings, prophetic meetings. This is to give hands. So he gave the hands and he was helped to get into the chariot. The, the, this chariot talks about the work of the Holy Spirit. We are inserted in that, in this wonderful work of the Holy Spirit to enjoy <coughs> all the benefits of salvation. And something interesting that the Lord has shown through the gifts of the Holy Spirit that He is taking good care of us. Two families that the Lord gave a deliverance of accident this week. It's a car accident during this week. And the Lord is showing that these families, they, even though they are not pleading, but the Lord was merciful. And the Lord is giving this gift to remind them it's a God of mercy. He's taking care of us. A God that works for the ones that serve Him. He's keeping us safe. Even in the moment of thinking that the Lord is not there, but He is there. The Lord has forsaken me. No, the Lord is present. Blessed be His name. I'd like to share an experience. Some of you remember when I arrived and in the beginning of my period in the United States, I had a huge work accident, broke my arm, and I was in the hospital. And one of these days, in the afternoon, in the hospital by myself, I felt abandoned, lonely, f fearful. So that mom, in that moment, the Lord, I was pleading for mercy, I was crying for blessing. So the Lord, the Lord allowed two servants to enter the room. I was not expecting them. They knock on the door, entered. They sit by my side. I'm not going to mention not to expose anybody. They seated, and I, I didn't, I didn't realize that there was a providence of the Lord, and I was in 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 fear and anguishing. And in that moment, the pain was just very strong. It was acute, and tears rolled out of my eyes. So the nurse came and dried my tear. Then I noticed there was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit with me. In the middle of the affliction, of my affliction, God is, is with us. The Lord is protecting. God is prospering. He opens doors. He gives victory because He is the guide of victory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He entered in the chariot. And it was part of the work. And Jeho, with the ones that followed, they were victorious in God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And His name is being glorified. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Bob. I invite the church to stand. Let's have one more word of praise. Lord, we adore your name. We bless you. Because truly, you are our everything. We bless your name. As for great things you have done for us. Great things you have done and you will do. For this marvelous work of the Holy Spirit. We know that we did the good choice. Lord, thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, the word of God will not be void. Keep this. O teu coração é com o coração de Deus, como dele é com o teu Santo Deus. Te louvamos, glorificamos o teu santo nome, Senhor. Adoramos a ti pela tua salvação, o teu amor, a tua graça, a tua misericórdia, o teu poder. Bendizemos a ti, Senhor. Blessed be your name for the actions of your Holy Spirit among us. Receive this service in your altar. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Our service has finished. We as the workers are here at your disposal to pray for you, to pray with you. <coughs> Give us a signal and we're going We go after you and we're going to pray with you and assist you.